Possums, Droma Smith here and you can see where we are. We're still at our little village on the ocean and things have moved on a bit. I have got quite a large oak platform now. The villagers are largely locked in the church and in this building but there are four who are still drifting around in the water. I want to get them all locked into buildings so that I can then safely build up a platform here and getting them out is going to be really easy. Just break a wall, let them spill out onto the finished area. Then demolish the buildings they were in. But I have been marking out where some new houses are going to go. That one is the same size as this one. That's got a diameter of 11. This is 15 with a 9 on the edge. And that's uh, 11 with a 9 on the edge, I think. And joining them together like that, I think that's going to work out okay this one and this one will be two story. So we're going to get down there and get going. I still don't have replay mod. I still don't really have a way of doing a time lapse, but I'm going to try out something for the end and we'll see if it works. So I'll get down there and we'll get building. Oh, and the edging of the platform, it's just oak stairs and then spruce on top with some torches. Oh, hello puppy. Right, here we are, ready to begin. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is knock out the slabs underneath all the dirt. And yeah, I think I want two doors on this one. And then I'm going to replace them with spruce logs and spruce planks. And I think on these large ones I'm going to have some... Um, cobble pillars as well. So let's get started on that. And I'll go pick up the bits on each one when I've finished it. When I've finished knocking it out. light up under here it's ridiculous and it's only going to get worse okay ones that go very deep I'm actually going to put on a cobble pile because why not remember I said I'd work on support structures well these pillars of the farms and of the existing houses that's the church they're going to be part of the support. So basically the village is built upon the remains of older structures. I'm not going to leave them just like this. I'll do something with them. I just don't know what yet. Well, that's this half of the village marked out. What I've got to do now is build up the pillars, fill in the bits in between and map the windows. Let's get going. I think we'll start with these back ones. Now we'll build them up as usual, but with the cobble ones, I think we'll go with a mix of cobble and stone. Just to make things a little different. And we'll work out where our windows are too. Once I've got them marked out like this, it's actually quite a simple building process. Alright, time for the floor to go back in. One thing this village won't have is cellars. All right, next one, same sort of thing. Only this one is all spruce. Now I have made a little addition to this. I'm not quite sure which one I think I like. So I've got little fence posts under the roof. I've got spruce on this side, which sort of blends in. And I've got oak on this side, which definitely doesn't. I'd appreciate hearing from you guys which one you think is best. The other option is I could also put another fence there. Um, might just do it on this side. It has two effects. It softens the edges and also if zombies do get in here they can't attack through the corners which 
with this, they technically could. So the choices are this, this, or that. So I'd like some feedback. I'm sort of leaning towards that, but I'm not wetted either way. The walls are done, glass is in, doors are in, time to put the roofs on. And to that end, I have been smelting some netherrack. There's more in boxes in there. There's quite a bit there as well. So I'll make up some nether brick and I'll make up some stairs and we'll get going on the roofs. Now I'll have to work out which ones I'm doing double story and where. Uh, so I'll do the roofs on the ones that I definitely know. Same drill as last time but right way up would be a really good idea. Okay, last touch to the roof of the second house. Pressure plates so that we don't have spawns. I don't know what to do with, hopefully they're all right. Okay, next one. I know this bit's going to be single story, so I'll just treat it like that and then we'll sort out that one. Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll make the second floor slightly smaller than the first and it'll have a little sort of awning roof. That'll work. And it helps if I remember to put ceilings in, doesn't it? Now I'm putting a ceiling in here because I'm going to put a staircase going up to the second floor around the central pillar. Okay, I quickly grew a bit of birch because I brought some saplings with me and we're going to put the stairs in. So there we go, it's a stair and then a slab landing and I'm just doing that all the way around, although I'm going to have to go up to do the last one. There we go. And now we can fill these in. Uh, I don't think I want to fill those in. Hang on. And that one. Yeah, I can walk up. That's good. All right, we'll just bung some torches in and get started on the rest of the roof. Now I'm just popping slabs in on this second layer. I don't know whether to put stairs or slabs there. I suppose it depends how it looks, doesn't it? What I do know about the second floor is that I don't want any cobble pillars or stone pillars. So let's start just by mapping out where I want the spruce pillars to go. Yeah, and not that way. Yeah, I know, you're all a bit annoyed with me. That's fine. That's this half of the village done. Now, I've put a fence all the way around it, as you can see, extended the platform out that way, and I have fenced off with dirt and fence the buildings. Oh, I've still got to fence off the blacksmith. I can do that quickly. I have a little garden in here. I haven't planted anything yet. I don't know if I'll put another one there or a smeltery there. I'm not sure. But the next thing is to get the villagers into here and then rope this off again and then demolish those houses and do the rest. So let's go down and get villager wrangling. So I've got to think about how I'm going to do this. Oh, I haven't got any steps with me. Okay, sorry. Now getting the villagers out of the church and out of this house, that's going to be easy. I just open up the back. 
The trick is going to be getting these guys in. And I'm not 100% certain this will work, but it's the best I can think of. Give them a platform. Oh, you can hear the ones in the church going bonkers. And next door. There we go. Okay. You need to move a little bit. Thank you. Right. Now, let's see if this entices you guys up. Come on, you can come up. Come on. You'll be so happy when you get up there. Go on. Ah. As long as that was me falling in and not them. Go on. Go on. You don't want to come back down. You really don't. There we are. That's one. This is going to take me a little bit. And the sun's going down soon. I don't need the sun going down soon. Come on. Up you go. That's it. Go on. You've been dying to get up here for ages. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're too happy about it being bottom slabs, but they can live with it. You didn't come in here, did you? You did! Hooray! Thank you! Now you can just stay in there till I get the others in. Oh, don't you love it when they cooperate? Right, now these should in theory be simple. Hello! We're over here! There we go. Yes, you spin around. I know you don't like it. All right, one last one. This one's got quite a few in it. Don't get stuck on the ladder. Come on. Don't come back in. Yeah, if in doubt, push them out. <sighs> They're not roped off, but they are at least on the right side of the fence. There we go. That's all the villagers in this half of the village. And I will now demolish that and build some more. See you soon. And there we are. Village done. Done but not finished. There's landscaping to go in, a path up to here, a few other bits and pieces which I'll keep under my hat till next time. But other than that, that's all the structures done. I quite like our beacon tower. That's beacon as in warning beacon, alert beacon, lighthouse, not nether star beacon. So we'll pop down and have a look. Hello, Piggy. See, I still haven't even got a proper way in yet. I've got to work all that out. So here we are. This is the smelter. And unlike the houses, it's just got plain glowstone that they've brought in from the nether. And we've got some netherrack to be smelted in here. 
and they've been harvesting kelp and smelting that for fuel. So we've got quite a few little houses, some vegetable gardens which the villagers have planted up and I have to tell you the villagers are not happy. This goes on a lot. Um, they also don't seem to be able to pathfind into the houses. They don't move much from whatever spot I push them to, except to do this spinning. So we're going to have to do something to help them, but we'll do that next time. In the meantime, oops, sorry, we'll go up to the top of the tower. So here we are at the top of the tower. We have an Elytra jump off point and you'll have to excuse the clicking but that's a spawn hazard. And I don't have my Elytra on so I'm not jumping off. Although it would be cool to fly over the village. Maybe when we're finished we'll do that. There's our temple up there. Oh that's handy. It shuts the gate automatically after you. Alright that works. And we can look down over the village. And this is a simple arrangement. Iron bars, cobble walls, they don't join. So you end up with some pretty specky looking windows. And of course, that's nether rack in there so it won't go out. And I have a flu hole. So I'll just have a look on this side. There we go. Nice view out over the ocean. There's... A little underwater village there that I've just raided and that led me to a treasure map over there and there's a shipwreck over there I have to raid as well. There we go, closes after me. Like that. I do like that. Okay. So, oh, I didn't realise you could do that. I'll have to be careful of that. All right. <laughs> Let's creep out. That's our village with the whirling villages. We'll sort that out next time. That's our village rebuilt. Next time we'll be putting the final finishing little touches and tweaks to it. So hopefully you'll join me then. If you've liked this, you know what to do. Whack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell. I'd love to have you along. And I'll see you next time. Bye.